this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working at Endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be coming out with new content all the time. So whether you're using the Libre 14 day, the Libre 2, or even the new Freestyle Libre 3, there's a few tips, tricks, and hacks that every Freestyle Libre user should be aware of. So let's get started and talk about five tips, tricks, and hacks for the Freestyle Libre CGM. Number one, improving the accuracy. So the Freestyle Libre, like all CGMs out on the market, the Dexcom and the Medtronic Guardian can have poor accuracy during the first 24 hours. As the days go on, the accuracy improves, but those first 24 hours, any CGM user will tell you, can be a little rocky. There's a number of reasons for this, insertion trauma, inflammation, all of which improve after the first day. So how can you improve those first 24 hours and get better accuracy during this time? You can achieve this by soaking your sensor. So what does this mean? Well, to bypass those first 24 hours, you can place a new sensor on the opposite arm 24 hours before the other sensor that's still running expires. So you'll be wearing two sensors at once, one arm with an active Libre sensor, the other just sitting and soaking for 24 hours. Approximately 24 hours later, when the other sensor expires, you go ahead and start this one that's been soaking for those 24 hours. And at this point, inflammation, insertion trauma has all died down and the accuracy has improved and you can bypass those first 24 unreliable hours. Number two, keep your Libre from falling off. While I love the Freestyle Libre sensors, the one thing that I don't love about them is their adhesive. Libre sensors are notorious for falling off before the full 14 days, but I do have a solution for that. And that solution is something called skin tack. I always felt skin tack should be included in the box along with the Libre sensor by default, as I feel it's very much a necessity for Libre sensors to keep them from falling off. So skin tack comes in a couple different varieties. You can get it in a bottle or in individual wipes, which is my personal preference. So to apply skin tack, you first clean the arm with alcohol as you normally would. Once the alcohol dries, you apply the skin tack. Normally it takes about 30 seconds for it to completely dry. And I always make sure to just kind of feel around the edges just to make sure it's tacky before I go ahead and apply the Libre sensor. And then once it is completely dry, you go ahead and apply the Libre sensor as you normally would. And the skin tack applies an additional hypoallergenic layer of adhesive that cements the Libre in place and keeps it from falling off prematurely. Number three, more data. So the Libre app already has a ton of information built right into the app. Graphs and charts, time and range, average glucose levels, etc. But if you want even more data, which most diabetic users typically do, I know I certainly do, then you'll want to go and check out LibreView.com. Once you log in with the same login you use to access the app on your phone, you'll have access to a ton of extra data that just isn't available on the app. Things like estimated A1C, options to view mealtime patterns, daily patterns over specified periods of time, even trouble areas the system has noticed for you to work on. It really has a lot of invaluable data that I use myself all the time to try to work on and improve my current glucose levels. Number four, free sensors. So maybe not free, but if you have a sensor that falls off prematurely, maybe a sensor that really isn't very accurate, do not just throw that sensor away and take the loss. A lot of people don't realize this, but Libre will replace all of those sensors at no extra charge to you. So there's a couple of different ways that you can get a replacement sent out from Libre. First is by calling customer service. They have a phone number listed on their website. It's a little bit of a process and it's not my preferred method. The second way, which is my preferred method, is by filling out a quick form online. You put in your address, etc. And then within a few days from my experience, you'll have a sensor shipped out to your address at no extra charge to you. So remember, if you have a faulty sensor, a sensor that falls off prematurely, do not lose that sensor, do not take the loss. Go ahead and contact Freestyle and they will send you out a new one at no extra charge. Number five, sharing is caring. So if you have a friend, a family member that has diabetes and uses a Freestyle Libre sensor, and you would like to monitor their glucose levels remotely, maybe get alerts if they're running high or low so you have some peace of mind, you have the ability to do that with something known as the Freestyle Libre Linkup app. All the individual needs to do that's using the Freestyle Libre app is to go ahead and go to connected apps and then send an invite to whoever they like to share the glucose data with. 
Then once the individual receives that invite from the app, they're gonna go ahead and download the Libre LinkUp app themselves. And once they do, they'll be able to remotely view all of the glucose levels in real time, as well as receive alerts for both high and low blood glucose levels. This is a nice way to provide peace of mind to your friends and family members, and is a very nice feature with the Freestyle Libre. I'll leave a link to the app in the show notes below, as well as leave a link to some of the other websites I've discussed and some of the other products in case you're interested. Those will all be listed below in the show notes. So that was five tips, tricks, and hacks for the Freestyle Libre. I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you feel like I missed that you'd like other people to know about, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you so much as always for watching the video.